Welcome to yoga. Thank you for joining me for this all level flow class. This class you can take as much time as you want or as little time as you want and do as much as you want or do as little as you want. So it's your practice, your time, um, going where your body is going to let you go. Remembering that every day is different. So yesterday you may have been able to do one thing and today maybe your body's not going to go there or it's going to go further. So allowing yourself that space and that respect without any judgment, maybe just curiosity instead. So for today's practice, we're gonna go ahead and utilize a chair and a mat. You can grab a strap or a belt. You can grab blocks or stacks of books. And um, you can grab blankets and pillows for your final relaxation. Also remembering that for our final relaxation, um, just because it's a video, we only do about a minute and we do a body scan. But actually, if you'd like to do a longer final relaxation, you can go ahead and stop once we're on the ground and then take your time and do as much relaxation as you want. Especially if by the time we get to that final relaxation, your body is like super relaxed and if you haven't felt that good in a long time, stay there. Take advantage of it. Use your 20, 30 minutes to stay in that. You deserve it. All right, so we'll see you guys in class. All right, so finding your chair, finding your space, um, pressing your feet into the floor, pressing those toes, heels into the floor. You might be in the middle of your seat or the front of your seat, however you feel most stable. So finding that and sitting that up tall, crown of the head lifting towards the sky and maybe just taking a few seconds to begin to quiet, to begin to quiet the thoughts to begin to slow everything down, to begin to quiet the body and all of the stuff you've had to do this morning already, allowing that to fall away for the next hour or so because you deserve this time. The crown of the head lifting a little taller, even taller and a little more taller, so really, really tall. And let's gently drop our chin to chest and take those eyes to the sky and chin to chest and eyes to sky and chin to chest and eyes to sky. Good. Let's drop ear to shoulder and other ear to shoulder. And again, take that from side to side. Good, bringing this back to center, looking over towards the right and then maybe thinking about that chin going over shoulder and then looking over towards the left and again thinking about chin going over the shoulder and bring this back to center. Maybe shaking those arms out a little bit and setting that up tall. Let's go ahead and inhale, sweep our arms up in a nice sun breath and then exhale and press this down. And inhale and lift this up. And exhale and press this down. And inhale and lift this up. And as we exhale, we're going to take our arms behind us, either grabbing for the back of your chair or the back seat of your chair or right behind you. So whatever is easiest for you to grab and opening that chest. Actually grabbing the back of that chair will help open that chest even more, opening the shoulders, opening the arms. And then go ahead and drop your chin to chest. Take your eyes to sky. And again, chin to chest and eyes to sky. And bring this back center. You can bend the elbows, release those arms, shake that out. Let's do this again. Inhale and sweep it up. And exhale and press down. And inhale and lift this up. And exhale, press down. And inhale and lift. And again, as we exhale, let's reach for behind, either reaching for behind the chair or the back of the chair. Open up that chest again. Or if you need to, you can even clasp your hands behind you if it's not available to, to get the chair back there. And again, let's drop that chin to chest and take eyes to sky. This time, let's take ear to shoulder and ear to shoulder. Bring this back to center, release those arms, shake that out. Inhale and sweep this up and exhale and press 
and inhale and lift. Let's clasp our hands at the top, press our palms to the ceiling, and make nice long arms here and a nice long torso. Really continuing to plant through the heels and through the toes, and then through those glutes. So you're gonna plant those glutes into your chair. So now you have even a more stable balance right there, or a more stable foundation. Lifting up through those arms, let's inhale it deep. And exhale it. And inhale deep. And exhale. Inhale deep. And exhale. And inhale deep. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and release our arms. Let's take that left arm to that right thigh. Right hand goes behind us, maybe reaching for the back of that chair. And begin to just do a small twist. So beginning small twist here. Letting the blood go back into those arms, into those fingers. And then lift this up, inhale. And take it to the other side. So right hand goes to left thigh. Left hand behind, just a little, little twist here. And bring this back to center. Reach this up and we're gonna do a forward fold. So allowing ourselves to hinge forward and maybe those hands can go towards the floor. Maybe they're on your feet. Maybe if your back needs to be lengthened more, maybe your hands are right there on your thighs, but no pressure on your knees, but lengthening through that back, allowing yourself to stretch right here. Maybe if you're down, your head can be lower than your heart. Very relaxing and renewing pose. And very slowly, we're going to begin to roll ourselves up. So nice and slow because that's our first time that we've taken our head below our heart. And then bring our head back up nice and slow. Let's inhale and sweep the arms up. Go ahead and take left hand to right thigh. Let's twist and inhale, lift. Right hand to left thigh, twist as you exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale, drag it down and over to that forward fold. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, left hand on that right thigh. Nice twist. Inhale and lift. Exhale, right hand to left thigh, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive it down and over, forward fold. Good, inhale and sweep this up. We'll do that one more time. Left hand to that right thigh, twist. Inhale, lift. And right hand to left thigh, twist. Inhale, lift, and exhale, dive it down and over. Relaxing in this forward fold. Maybe again, relaxing that head and neck. Maybe you're able to look at your knees or look at your feet. And then maybe nodding that head yes or shaking that head no. Help release any tension in the neck and the, the base of the skull. Very slowly, let's roll this up. Roll our shoulders down and back. Take our arms out in front of us. Press through the heels of our hands. So press that out. And let's point those fingers down. And then flex through that. Nice stop right there. And then point down. And then flex. And point down. And flex. And point down. And flex. Good. Release that. And you can scooch yourself back. To the back of your chair. Maybe your heels might come off of the floor now, depending on the, the, the how tall your chair is. But sitting this up, let's sweep our arms up towards the sky. Go ahead and drop that right hand. And then let, again, let's drop that left hand to the outside of the right thigh and do a twist. If you want to, you can even grab behind your chair, depending again how tall your chair is, or grab the bottom to get an even further twist here. And again, your feet may be off the floor or your toes may be touching, but your glutes are nice and planted so that you can get that stable twist here. Take your eyes and look back a tiny bit further. And let's bring this back to center. Go ahead and roll those shoulders out and roll them forward. Give them a nice big shrug and release. And again, shrug 
and release. Good. Let's go ahead and take right hand to that left thigh. That left arm comes around either to the top of your chair or the bottom. And let's give a nice big twist on this side. Then once you're there, maybe taking your eyes back a little bit further. Breathing it deep here. And bring this back to center. Go ahead and roll those shoulders and roll them forward and crunch that up and release it down and crunch that up and release it down. Good. Go ahead and scoot yourself forward again. So we're on the front, taking our legs out in front of us. So flexing through our feet, you might be on the very edge. Let's go ahead and take our right ankle to that left shin. So below the knee, we don't want to put any pressure on the knee. So we're taking that right there. You may even want to wrap your foot around your ankle if it's available to you. Sitting that up and grab your chair and hinge this slightly forward, but pressing through that heel. And you'll feel a wonderful stretch in the calf on that left leg in the shin, maybe the inner thigh on the right leg, all over actually. And then go ahead and bring yourself back up. Let's take that right ankle to that left thigh and bend our left knee. So now we're sitting it up nice and tall, planting through that left foot. Sweep our arms up, drop our left hand to right thigh, another twist here. Inhale and lift. Let's do an inside twist. So let's take the right hand down to that right foot twist. Lift this up and we're going to hinge it forward just as much as you can, but keeping our shoulders away from our ears. It's really easy to want to round when you hinge that forward. Let's keep that back straight and keep our shoulders away from ears and you can get that really, really good hip opener right here. Breathing that deep. Inhale and lift this. Let's hinge it once more. Exhale. That felt really good. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, hinge. Good. Inhale and lift. Release our arms. Let's go ahead and straighten through that left leg. And you can release that right leg down. So flexing through that right foot. Let's take left ankle to right thigh. You can, again, wrap that foot around if it works for you. And sitting that up nice and tall. Go ahead and do a little bit of a hinge here. Press through that right heel. Flex through that right foot. Imagine that big toe trying to touch that shin. Stretching all over right here. And then gently bring this up. Let's go ahead, bend our right leg. Take our left ankle to right thigh. And then sit this up nice and tall. Let's inhale and reach. And right hand to the left thigh, twist. And bring this up. Left hand to that right, left foot. Left hand to left foot, twist. And back to center. Inhale and lift, and let's hinge this forward. And recognizing if it feels different on one side than on the other. I'm actually tight on both sides, so they're both pretty sad this morning. Let's inhale and lift. And exhale, hinge. But it feels so good. And inhale, lift. And exhale, hinge. And inhale, lift. Let's do that hinge one more time. Take this forward. And inhale, lift it and release our arms. Very nice. Go ahead and straighten through that right leg. You can release the left foot, press through both heels. You're kind of on the edge of that chair. Let's reach it up and hinge it forward if it's available to you. Again, you can grab your chair or you can have your arms up, but just stretching right here, pressing through those heels and then lift this up. Good. And let's bring this back. Let's go ahead and bring our right leg up. So bringing that right foot right to that inner thigh. So now we're gonna do a supported hip hinge. So the chair is supporting us instead of having just that air. Plant through your foot wherever it feels most comfortable. And let's sit this up tall and kind of, you don't have to use your arms here. We're going to hinge here using the chair to pull yourself forward. But thinking about both of your glutes 
glued to the back of the chair. If they come up a little, that's fine, but you're kind of um, fighting against it. So you're getting that really, really good stretch. You might feel it in the back, the low back, really pressing through that left foot to find the stability. And then go ahead and bring this up, release that leg. Let's take it to the other side. Bring that left leg up, left foot in, goes into that right thigh. Press through that right foot, finding that stability here. And sitting this up nice and tall, let's hinge this forward. And again, grabbing that chair wherever it feels most stable for you and trying to keep those glutes down. And you might recognize that one side, the glute comes up. Just depends, depends on um, where the tightness is in your body. And allowing yourself just to stretch into this, breathing into this. Good, and then slowly bring this back up. Release that left leg. Let's take that right leg back up again. Actually go ahead and scoot yourself over to the edge of your chair. And we're gonna take our leg out. So we're kind of off the side and we're gonna bring that right leg back up. So now our leg is out. Now we're gonna get an even deeper inner thigh stretch right here. And your toe, just like when we do our gait pose, your toe can be either to the front or to the side. So whatever works best for your ankle. So sitting this up tall and maybe hinging it a little bit forward. If it helps, you can use your arms, but I'll fall off the chair. But just hinging this a little bit, getting that inner thigh stretch, getting the inner thigh stretch on both sides of the body. This is kind of a really good one on that right side. And then gently bring this up. Good, release that. Let's take it to the other side. You may need to move your chair like I did. And let's go ahead and take that other leg out. So toes either to the front or to the side. And then let's go ahead and bring that left leg up, sitting that up nice and tall, and then hinging into this, stretching into this, using the support of that chair to really get that good inner thigh stretch on both of those legs. Breathing it deeply here. And then lifting this back up and bring this back to center. Good, let's find that stable place on the chair. So you might wanna be on the front, flattening both of our feet, big toe, little toe, heel. We're gonna drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Let's take that right hand, gently placing it above the ear and gently using a tiny bit of pressure. So you don't wanna pull yourself over, tiny bit of pressure and allow that neck to stretch. Breathe deeply into that. And bring this back to center. Let's take our hands, we're gonna clasp them at the base of our neck, just right here, and just clasp. And we're just gonna hold. We're gonna hold that skull right there. So I'm kind of, I'm squeezing behind my ears with the heels of my hands. So holding that, imagine that you're holding that head up. This will release a little bit of tension. And then release that. Good, go ahead and roll that out. Let's take other ear to shoulder. There we go. So we'll go to the left side and take our left hand right above that ear gently. A little bit of pressure. Good, bring this back to center. Clasp our hands again. Go ahead and grab the base of that skull. This time, if you'd like, you can drop your head a tiny bit. We don't wanna take it all the way forward and press. Drop it a tiny bit and maybe put a little bit of pressure with your hands against the base of your skull. Maybe give yourself a little bit of a shoulder and neck massage here with your thumbs if that works too. Just releasing any tension here. Good, and then bring this up. Go ahead and roll those shoulders out. And then gently let's press into our feet and let's go ahead and stand ourselves up. Grab your chair. We're gonna keep using it for a little bit. Grab that and we're gonna do our modified downward facing dog. So we're gonna go ahead, 
take our hands onto our chair. And then go ahead and take our hips right over our ankles. Arms are right on the top of that chair. And this is our nice modified downward facing dog. We've got that head getting lower than the heart and we're stretching through those shoulders and that back. So this is a wonderful one to do if you can't do anything on your wrists, if you've got some wrist issues, but you still wanna have the benefits of that downward facing dog. This is great to do. You'll feel it in that back. Very nice. Let's go ahead and bring this up nice and slow. We're going to do a single leg chair. So let's go ahead and bring ourselves. You can bring your leg up to your thigh. We're using that hair or that chair. You can use a wall if you want. And bring ourselves into that single leg chair and squatting into that, trying to make sure that our knee, our leg bone is going straight down into the floor, that we're getting an even deeper stretch more than we did when we were seated. And go ahead and lift that up and release that. Let's take it into modified downward facing dog. So bring this back and stretch through that. Relax that head and neck, stretch through those legs. Stretch through that back and then gently bring this up. We'll take it to the other side. So taking that left leg, if you did the right leg before, to that thigh and gently sitting into that, that single-legged chair pose. Very nice. And breathing into this. And then gently bring this up. Let's take it to that downward facing dog, modified down dog. Relax into that, relax that head and neck. Maybe nod your head or shake it. Good, let's go ahead and bring this back up. Turn your chair around. And we're gonna use this later on, but we're gonna use it one more time right now. So let's go ahead and take our left hand to the chair, to the, or you can take it to the back, but to the bottom of the chair. Now, pressing through our left foot, let's go ahead and lift that right leg up. So we're lifting to the side, we're opening this up, so we've got our full half moon here. So we've got our half moon, and let's lift this up. Good, our first balance pose of the day. and then release this down. You can take both hands to the chair and do again a nice little modified downward facing dog. This time you might feel it even more in your calves and your hamstrings because your hands are on the chair, or on the seat rather than up, up tall. Good, bring this forward. Let's keep our right hand and this time let's take our other leg up. So I'm facing away from you, but let's lift this up into our half moon. Balancing on that other side. And then gently bring this down. Hands back to that seat. Modify downward facing dog. Wonderful stretch in the backs of the legs. Maybe again nod your head yes or shake that head no. And then release that. Go ahead and roll this up. Nice and slow. Let's take ourselves into a mountain pose. So pressing through our toes, pressing through our heels, shoulders down and back, crown of the head lifting, palms facing out. Let's sweep our arms up towards the sky. Go ahead and drop our left arm to our left thigh and let's reach this over. So that finger is following that thigh down to the knee, stretching through the right side of the body and really pressing through both of our feet. So both of those feet are working as one unit, one nice tree trunk. And then let's lift this up. And again, nice tree trunk with those feet. <laughs> Reach through that, oh, very nice. Good, and release. Let's sweep our arms up, dive it down and over, and a standing forward fold right here. 
and relax in the standing forward fold. Again, maybe nod the head yes or shake that head no, but allow yourself to be a rag doll here. So allow those arms to dangle, maybe even move from side to side. Imagining that those arms are just super heavy and barely even attached to you. So they're just moving from side to side. Feels really good to release that. Let's go ahead and take opposite elbow with the opposite hand and make a frame for that head. And again, those arms are still pretty loose. And then release those arms. Let's inhale and slowly sweep our arms up towards the sky and release our arms to our sides. Good, you can move the chair off to the side for a little bit. We'll use it at the end for legs on the chair. Let's go ahead and sweep our arms up towards the sky and dive it down and over. Let's go ahead and take both of our feet back and drop to our knees, taking ourselves back into a nice child's pose. So take yourself back, reaching through those arms. We're gonna do legs up on the chair and we're going to use a block. You can have your blankets and your pillows close to you because after we do our legs, we're going to go into a relaxation. So we've got legs up on the chair and we're gonna add in a modified shoulder stand. So go ahead and get nice and close to your chair. Let's go ahead and take our legs up onto that chair, nice and slow, and bring yourself nice and close to that chair, pressing through that low back. Now we're gonna take a block, or you could take a stack of books, it would be like, I don't know, three or four books, and you're gonna take that right underneath the sacrum, so right underneath where your belt would be, like the, the low part or the upper part of your hip, and then the low back. So taking that block right there just to support, and then one foot at a time, let's go ahead and lift the legs up. So this is our modified shoulder stand. So we've got weight pressed into our shoulders. This is a wonderful inversion because that our legs are higher than our heart. Very relaxing, renewing, rejuvenating, good for the blood flow. You can point your feet and flex. And if your legs get tired, then go ahead and take a break and bring it back up. Again, listening to your body, or if your hamstrings are very tight, feel free to keep those knees bent. You can keep it here, or if you'd like, you can begin to move your legs back into kind of a plow. If you could do full plow, then go ahead and go for it. Again, wherever you feel best, most comfortable today, most aligned today, most supported today. And then slowly, one leg at a time, let's go ahead and release that. Release that block out from underneath you and dropping the pelvis towards the floor. Pressing through that low back, allowing the arms, the chest to relax. Let's go ahead and take our right ankle, place it onto left thigh. Pressing our ankle into that thigh. Taking our hand and we're gonna place it not on the knee, but right underneath, right at that inner thigh area, and then gently push that away. And you can push it as far away as you would like to get a really good outer thigh stretch, inner thigh stretch. And while you're doing this, trying to keep that opposite glute, opposite side of the body, so the left side, we're trying to keep that planted into the floor. Get that really, really good. Good opening. And then gently release. Let's go ahead and release that leg. Bring the other ankle in, taking it onto that thigh. Remember, no pressure onto the knee. And then allow that to open a little bit and then take the hand underneath the knee to that inner thigh. Press that away from you. And get that wonderful hip opener here. At the same time, you've got that right glute, right hip planted into the floor. And then release that, release the legs. Let's move into a final relaxation. So go ahead and use whatever pillows, blankets, whatever you need for this. 
You can also do this lying down. You don't have to keep your legs up on the chair. But this is just a nice, it's kind of like, a, it's a supported inversion. So we're just keeping our legs up for as long as we can today. Taking our arms out, heart is open to the sky, open to that, the clouds, open to the ceiling. Maybe wiggle those toes, especially if you have them on the chair, because they're nice and supported. And you can, might even be able to rotate your ankles. Whatever you need to do here. And then begin to relax. Allow your belly, belly button, to fall back towards the back of your spine. Allow your rib cage to be relaxed. Begin to release your jaw. Relax your face, relax your nose, release your eyes. Let your eyeballs fall back to the back of your skull. Relax the forehead and the scalp. Maybe lifting those elbows, like having them underneath you. Palms facing up. Now you've got a rotation in the back of the arm, in the shoulder. And then just relax that. Relax and release that entire body. Especially that jaw. Think about the jaw today. Think about letting it fall open. Maybe you're even releasing the tongue. Feel free to stay in this relaxation as long as you need to for today. Again, this is your time, so listen to your body. Maybe you need to be here for a while. Otherwise, if you're ready, begin to bring your mind back to the present and begin to gently Move your, your body. Go ahead and bend those knees. Bring them towards you. And maybe drop your knees towards me. And then gently pressing yourself up nice and slow. So bring yourself up and bring yourself to a seated form. Whatever is most comfortable for you. Simple cross leg or up on those legs. Again, whatever works best for you. And we've got our mind back to the present. We're bringing our body back to the present. Let's gently inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Maybe bringing hands to heart, heart center. Let's take fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Fingers to the lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. And hands back to heart. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, and a sound and peaceful mind. Deeply inhale. And exhale. And thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.